when a Victron inverter, a multi-plus inverter starts up, it sometimes encounters a ground relay test failed error. If you happen to stand in front of her and you know exactly what to look for, then you might realize that it is busy finding a ground relay test failed error. Um, but for 99% of the people, or I should say 99.99% of people, they wouldn't have a clue that this is what's busy happening and that Victron is busy doing a test that is failing. Um, most of the people see it afterwards. Uh, Victron normally tests for this problem three times, I think. And um, then it used to refuse to switch on. And I think nowadays it actually goes into a pass-through mode. And uh, if you're the guy that installed it or sold it to them, then you will get a request that there's a pass-through mode and people don't know why that is. And um, what you do then is you actually go to the uh, remote console <clears throat> and you start looking for fault notifications. And if you see that ground relay test failed error is, is indicated here, then, um, then you know that you've encountered that problem. And for most people, even technical people involved um, with Victron installations, they then don't have a clue what is busy happening and then they probably start Googling the problem and hopefully find a, a problem, an a answer to the problem. And that's what I'm trying to do here. Right, so let's talk a bit about the background. Um, when the power comes into a property from the street, then you get a live and a neutral coming in. At that point, and I won't go into different types of earthing systems, you actually connect the neutral to the earth normally, and that is the only point in the property where you should have neutral and earth connected together. Um, from there, you've got the live, uh, the neutral, and the earth going to the inverter, and from the inverter, you're going to the loads. Now, the problem that you're actually getting with a ground relay test failed error is that sometimes these loads have a connection between the neutral and the earth. That might not even be in your property. It might be a toaster or something that is plugged into a wall and the toaster has a leak current between neutral and earth. Now I've tried to ask Victron um, how much, uh, in, what is the impedance that they're actually testing for, um, but I haven't been able to, they bluntly ignore me if I ask a question, um, so I haven't been able to find out what the actual impedance is that they test for, uh, so that one can at least know in a property what the hell it is that you should be measuring for. But in any case, um, okay, so that's the background. You should never in a property have a connection between neutral and earth. And if you get a ground relay protection error, then the problem is that Victron did a test and they found that you do have a connection there. There's a bit more of a graphic presentation of that. So we come into the property, you have this connection between neutral and earth. You go into the DB. Somewhere in the DB, your main DB, you should be branching out to, uh, to your inverter. And in the loads of the inverter, what Victron is telling you, there's a connection somewhere here between neutral and earth. Okay. So, what do you do about it? There's a couple of things you can do about it. First of all, if your inverter was installed properly, properly and you have a bypass switch, then if you put it on bypass while the inverter is booting up, then it'll do the test. It won't find the problem because there's no loads connected to it. But if <clears throat> the person who actually installed your inverter did not, when you put it on bypass, actually break the neutral as well, then that workaround won't work. So the first one is, Isolate all the loads from the inverter, and that should be via a sort of main switch coming out of the inverter, which disconnects the neutral and the live. 
and then after it's booted up you can switch it on because Vectron only does the test during boot up so that's your first thing then at least you can get the thing going and you can wait till tomorrow morning till somebody actually comes and, and sees if you can can find a permanent solution to the problem. Then the second thing that you should be doing is plug out any potential devices that could be a problem. As I said, this might not be a problem with your um, house or your business or whatever building with the actual electrical installation. It could simply be a device that plugs into the wall and that has a connection between neutral and earth um, and that is the cause of the problem and then you will also find that you sometimes have the problem obviously when the device is plugged in and sometimes you don't have the problem okay if it's not one of those two then you have to get a guy in that starts scratching in your db board and what you do is you remove each neutral um, circuit so you keep the circuit off and then you start testing for uh, continuity um, between uh, neutral and earth in that circuit okay and if it's not then you connect it back onto the neutral and you go through everything until you hopefully find the problem so guys my name is Marius Furi. I'm from Green Pro Consulting we're situated um, in four ways between Johannesburg and Pretoria and um, I hope this helped you a little bit and um, if uh, you do have a problem if you do have this problem and you want to discuss it feel free to give me a call my cell phone number is there there's an email address um, so good luck if you have the problem it's uh, quite an irritating problem to solve